Hi there, and welcome to our latest video from VoiceForm. Welcome to VoiceForm Studios, which is just my apartment. <laughs> but really awesome that you've taken a chance to tune in and check out our video covering how to create an anonymous survey in eight steps. So we'll be going over our recommendations for how to effectively set up an anonymous survey, why they're really valuable in helping you collect great data from your audience, whether it be customers or employees, and ways that you can go about actually uh, building, uh, designing, and then distributing an anonymous survey. Um, and of course, you can always feel free to check out the blog that I'll be covering here that we've written on the topic matter on voiceform.com or in our resources section on our website, and we'll link all of those below the video today. So let's dive in on how to set up an anonymous survey. So first and foremost, one of the things to cover off around the are the benefits of an anonymous survey. Why is this something that you'd want to do when you're collecting customer feedback, employee feedback, or, or anything from an audience? And ultimately, when it comes down to anonymous surveys, some of the standout reasons why would be that makes uh, audience members feel more comfortable, feel that they can speak freely and, and give data that will actually help move, whether it be your team or your organization, move it forward uh, in a more productive way versus them feeling like they might need to curtail what they have to say. Uh, so candid answers are a huge reason why you'd want to run an anonymous survey. Uh, another option would be avoiding bias, letting people be able to truly speak their mind without um, feeling the need to, again, suppress their opinions. Uh, and the, ultimately, these candid and honest answers are what you really want to know, because whether it be positive or negative, inherently, you want to know this in order to drive to an end result of some kind. And then also increase response rates. If people feel that they can speak freely about a given topic matter, this works out great in making sure that you're hugely maximizing for high conversion in your survey and also quality, quality data as well. So now let's dive into how to go about actually creating this anonymous survey. So first and foremost, setting your goal, understanding what exactly you wanna capture um, in this survey and why you wanna run this anonymous survey. And then ultimately, what does your like, success factor look like in this as well? What data do you wanna collect? What kind of response rate do you want to receive? And ultimately, what are you looking to learn from your audience? Um, of course, one of the things in this case, we'll assume that yes, you do want to run an anonymous survey, but also just double check, is this something you actually need to do in order to achieve your goals? Does the actual questions being asked and the responses received need to be uh, anonymized? Um, first, uh, sorry, as point number three is making a clear objective statement. So once you determine that yes, an anonymous survey is exactly what you want to run, making sure it's clear that you have your goals uh, and objectives set, um, and then um, basically prepare all of your questions around the fact that based on what you're looking to achieve in the survey, um, these are the types of questions I want to ask and more why. Um, then next, of course, once you determine that you do want to run an anonymous survey, picking the right tool for that. Of course, um, we would love to recommend VoiceForm as a survey and form platform if you're going to run this survey. What our solution really does is allows you to um, ask questions with video, voice, and text and also allow users to respond with voice or text as well. And this is just a really great way for them to speak freely and openly. Um, and so when you're collecting qualitative information for your anonymous survey, VoiceForm is an awesome tool to do that. And again, check out our website at voiceform.com to learn more about how we can help you set up an awesome anonymous survey. Uh, after that, determining what's the best way to distribute your survey to ensure an anonymity in all of your responses, whether it be sending it over a unique link or email. And of course, you can reach out anytime if you wanna brainstorm some ways how to send out your anonymous survey. Uh, and then the last two items will be making sure that you choose your right questions. Uh, at the top, I mean, one of our first priorities is setting your goal for your survey. So what are you looking to learn? And from there, you'll be able to draft your questions that align back to those goals, whether it be a colleague survey or a customer survey. Uh, make sure all of those questions map back to the initial goal. And then, of course, make sure to make your post-survey plan. And so once all your data is collected, how you're going to analyze it, uh, what your end goal is in terms of how you're going to then summarize and present it, whether it be in a presentation, a report, uh, or some sort of external marketing material. Uh, that's always something to think through too, because that might also help um, you know, in your consideration for what types of questions you're gonna ask and what kind of data you're gonna collect as well. And so uh, I'll leave it there. And so we, again, feel free to check out this blog for eight steps on how to run an effective anonymous survey. And of course, if you wanna consider VoiceForm as your solution, um, definitely feel free to reach out and let us uh, share more about why we think it'd be a great option for your next anonymous survey. Thanks so much for checking out this video and uh, from all of us at VoiceForum, we look forward to chatting with you soon.